In this video, we will look at using the quadratic formula when one or more of the terms is missing. If a term is missing, we will simply use 0 as we plug in values for the quadratic formula. For example, in this problem, you may notice that there is no x term. This means we can think about there being 0x in the middle. So 7 would be our a, and for b, we'll use that 0, while negative 49 is our c. Plugging these values into the quadratic formula, we have x equals the opposite of b, or 0, plus or minus the square root of b, or 0 squared, minus 4a, which is 7, c, which is negative 49, all over 2a, which is 7. We can ignore the zeros as they won't have any effect on our problem, and we get x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 4 times 7 times 49 is 1,372, over 2 times 7, which is 14. To simplify that radical, we'll need to find out what goes into 1,372, which is divisible by 2, 686 times, which is divisible by 2, 343 times, which is divisible by 7, 49 times, which is divisible by 7, 7 times, and 7 once. So now, we have x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2 squared times 7 cubed over 14. We can take the square root of 2 squared, dividing the exponent by the index, and the 7 cubed, with 1 7 remaining behind. We now have x is equal to plus or minus 2 times 7 is 14, square root of 7 over 14. 14's divide out, and for our final answer, x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 7. Let's try one more problem, where we have to use 0 for a missing term and simplify what remains in the quadratic formula. Again, you notice the x term is missing, so we'll think about this as having 0x. a is 3, b is 0, and c is 54. Plugging these values in the quadratic formula, we get x is equal to the opposite of b, or 0, plus or minus the square root of b, or 0 squared, minus 4a, which is 3, times c, which is 54, all over 2a, which is 3. The zeros can be ignored as we multiply what's left together. x is equal to plus or minus the square root of negative 4 times 3 times 54 is negative 648, all over 2 times 3, which is 6. We can then factor what's left, to see if we can simplify that radical. If it's negative, we'll use negative 1 as a factor, and then see how 648 can be factored out. It's divisible by 4, or 2, sorry, 2, 324 times, which is divisible by 2, 162 times, which is divisible by 2, 81 times, which is divisible by 3, 27 times, 3, 9 times, 3, 3 times, and 3 once. This means we have factors 2 cubed times 3 to the 4th, all over 6. We can pull a 2 cubed out, with 1, 2 remaining. 3 to the 4th will come out as 3 squared, or 9, and the negative 1 will come out as an i. This means we have x is equal to plus or minus 18i times the square root of 2 over 6. We can then simplify 18 over 6 to get 3, and x is equal to plus or minus 3i times the square root of 2. And this becomes our final solution. As you can see, if a term is missing, we simply use 0 for that term, and can use the quadratic formula, like always, simplifying the entire expression.